Hello there. Come on in out of that cold, brr, Carolina winter weather. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. Now that we've inspected your chimney, we need to take a few minutes and go over the chimney inspection report. So stay with me. Now let's take a look at this uh, inspection report. And this is uh, typical of my reports. Uh, upper right hand corner is a legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. They're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments uh, here below. Now let's take a look at your pictures and let's go over your inspection itself. So stay with me now. Well, great picture of the, uh, the front of the house. Uh, let's scroll down here. Let's take a look at the top. This is the, the uh, top of the chimney. Now we see that there's three flues in here for the three fireplaces and there's no chimney caps up there. Uh, of course, that's not going to make any difference because you guys are going to raise this up. And so putting chimney caps on there now would be uh, a waste of money. Also fixing this cracked crown, which is no doubt leaking water into the body of the chimney. There's no sense in doing that as well if you're going to uh, build the chimney up. So we'll assume that that's uh, what our plans are. Now let's, um, let's take a look at the den fireplace. So when it first came in, we could see clearly there was a wood stove installed here. Uh, rusting away right here is the uh, old stove adapter. And it plugged into this uh, stainless steel piece of pipe here. It's hard to believe that stainless steel. And um, the stove slid in here, and that's how this thing drew up. There's, it gives us no access at this point until all this mess is cleaned out to see what the smoke chamber looks like in any of the three fireplaces. Even the living room's got so much debris behind it, you can't get in back in there to, to, uh, to get much of an image or send, send a camera up there and get much of an image. But uh, it doesn't matter because, uh, as we pointed out, the three, uh, all three flue systems are cracked. Uh, they've got broken flue sections in them. And the den fireplace with, that had the wood stove, uh, they actually had a, a, a chimney fire in there. Let's take a look at this. This is what a chimney fire, this is what a chimney flue system looks like after a chimney fire. All of this uh, stuff that's debris that's hanging out here is left over from the uh, the burning creosote. Creosote's what burns uh, when you have a chimney fire. That's what actually fuels it. Wood stoves uh, incomplete combustion, and they send uh, live creosote or fuel up at the chimney, and it sticks in here. And then somebody will throw a piece of paper or something in the wood stove, and the next thing you know, this thing uh, catches a blaze. Well, one minute this flue liner is uh, 200 degrees and the next minute it's 1700 degrees which is the temperature of chimney fire and that's what cracks and breaks up these liners so all really all three flues uh, here's the living room fireplace it's got a big old broken flue section in here and missing part of it and you can see all the gaps and holes in there and even the um, downstairs fireplace you can see there's gaps all throughout uh, all three flue systems so it wouldn't be safe um, to use uh, any three, uh, any one of the three fireplaces as a wood burner or vented gas logs. Vent free means you wouldn't use the flue system. Vent free is complete combustion. Uh, we're talking about gas logs, vent free gas logs. Complete combustion, uh, no carbon soot, no carbon monoxide. Perfectly safe to use in these flues. Uh, a little repair work in the firebox of the den fireplace uh, and also uh, making sure that we free up the dampers or replace any parts that might be necessary there. Of course, the den fireplace looks like some, a little more repairs would have to be done there in the uh, damper area. But uh, let's pull that back up so we can kind of see what that looks like. Uh, that was the first one we looked at here. So this area right here is where a damper would belong. Looks like they broke all that out in order to get the pipe in there. So this may require a little more effort to get this up to speed, but all three fireplaces could certainly be used as vent-free gas logs, and you could forego, uh, you know, having the liners put in, which are going to run you about 15, 
uh, 10 to 15. I thought earlier maybe 13. I like to err on the on the side of of caution and say might be as much as fifteen thousand dollars to rely on all three flus. So I'll let you uh, choose that. If that's something that you want to do, I'll uh, I would refer you to Owens James Owens Owens Chimney Service, and uh, I'll include his number on the report for you or on the uh, email so you'll have it. All right, you folks have questions for me? Give me a call seven zero four five two six 6348. You can uh, uh, email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.